engines up and burning. Two, one, zero, and lift off, the final lift off of Atlantis. The U.S. Space Shuttle program may have seen its final space shuttle flight, but the space race is far from over. While other countries are moving forward into space exploration, now it's U.S. private investors that are aiming for the moon. NASA has made that transition over to do the missions to space station and so on will now be done by commercial companies. We've now got nations, China, India, Japan, and Russia are all getting into this moon race. Just hours after the last U.S. space shuttle Atlantis landed, Silicon Valley startup Moon Express was already testing a prototype of a lunar lander. You know, Silicon Valley is already excited about commercial space, lots of investment in companies like SpaceX. So MoonX uh, is kind of the next stage. Um, a lot of people are excited about low Earth orbit, personal space flight. Absolutely the thing we need to do. We need to get off the planet and do so in an economical way. The Silicon Valley startup hopes to build a viable spacecraft that could be used to deliver scientific and exploration cargo to the moon. We will set up, land on the moon, deliver the payload, deploy it, and then send back data initially. There are certainly NASA missions, and NASA has the thing they want to do, and now instead of building their own missions, they can pay us essentially by the kilogram to deliver things to space. Moon Express is planning its first moon flight in 2014, and will carry and deploy its first payload, a compact telescope, which is the first step to building a full lunar observatory. Okay, it's a compact telescope designed to fly on our lunar lander in 2014 and it can be commanded by from anywhere on the earth through our command center up to the moon to look at objects anywhere you can see from the moon. But MoonX isn't the only California startup looking to the moon. SpaceX launched a rocket carrying equipment in 2010 and plans on a manned launch in a few years. We're like SpaceX but for the last mile to the moon. So we can piggyback on top of a SpaceX mission, have that launch our system out, and then our system delivers any payload that we want for our customers um, to the moon. Moon Express founder Naveen Jain aims to be one of the first entrepreneurs to help Earthlings take advantage of the moon's resources. We looked at the stuff and saying, where are the biggest opportunities that are going to be created in the world? And we thought that space and genetics are the two, two industries that are going to be really the next big industries uh, around. And the whole goal is to be able to go find the rare earth elements, such as platinum or helium-3, and really bring them to earth to solve our energy problem. This vehicle was used by NASA in 2007 and 2008, and they mothballed it and we put it all back together and get it all working again as a part of our technology development. Kind of looks like a bug, right? Uh, it looks like a little spaceship from another planet like you'd see on a cartoon. It's got four landing legs and it comes flying into the moon and fires rocket engines and slows down and can actually land very accurately. Um, we come all the way a quarter million miles and we can land inside of a football stadium. The company is a contender in the Google Lunar X Prize that will be awarded to the first privately funded team to put a robot on the moon. It will need to travel 500 meters after it lands and transmit high definition video, images, and data back to Earth. The company is serious about winning and has set aside a budget of 70 million to 100 million dollars. We're also competing for the Google Lunar X Prize and on if we win that program then that's a 20 million dollar prize. We have a paying contract for NASA good for by milestone basis but good for up to 10 million dollars. NASA plans to fund two resupply missions a year to the International Space Station. It's a contract worth hundreds of millions of dollars. But for now, MoonX has set its sights on producing an economical, low-cost, repeatable technology that will be used to land robots and eventually humans on the moon. For the Wall Street Journal Digital Network, I'm Chris Kievman at NASA in Mountain View, California.